Standing at the edge of the water Long as I can remember Never really knowing why I wish I could be the perfect daughter But I come back to the water No matter how hard I try Every turn I take, every trail I track Every path I make, every road leads back To the place I know where I cannot go Where I long to be See the light James here from goodguitarist.com and in today's lesson I'm going to show you how to play How Far I'll Go by Alessia Cara. And to play this song the first thing we need to do is get our capo on the fourth fret. So one, two, three, four, make sure it's nice and snug, that all the strings work, you know we don't want any buzzing. And you can play this without a capo but you won't be able to play along with the original recording. It'll be in a different key Aside from that, it doesn't really matter. So if you don't have a capo, you can still follow along and learn all the shapes. And then later you can just play through it and it'll sound fine. You just won't be able to play along with the original recording. And as far as the song itself is concerned, most of these chords are pretty simple. And if you find that you need any extra help with them, we have an ebook covering all the fundamentals of rhythm guitar. It's available for free to all of our subscribers. You'll find it on our website. There's a link down below. And that'll help you out with chords, chord switching, strumming patterns, you know, all the fundamentals, all the basics. So if you find that you're having trouble understanding something, just check that out. We go over everything super in depth. Aside from that, I think we're ready to start out with the chord shapes. And our first chord is C. Our next chord is D minor. And you can play D minor with that finger or that one, doesn't really matter. Then we have A minor and F. And for F, I like to play it with this fingering. We can do the bar chord, but it's a little bit easier if we skip the first string, first finger, second finger, pinky, ring, get our thumb muting the lowest string. It's a way easier version of the F chord. And those are all the chords that we need to play through the verse. So let's take a look at the chord order now. We're going to start out on a C chord. I'm going to count us in nice and slow, just doing some down strokes. You know, no, we're not going to worry about the rhythm yet. One, two, three, four. So make sure you can play it just like that, downstrokes only, making nice, accurate, clean chord switches. And once you're good with that, we can take a look at the strumming pattern, which goes like this. Here it is a little bit slower. Three and four and. seems pretty complicated. That's a much longer strumming pattern than we're normally used to, but if you break it down, it's actually almost the same thing three times in a row. You know, it's, it's not that bad. So let's take a look at it broken down. The first part goes like this. So that's just down, down, up, mute. 
And when I mute, I'm literally just kind of karate chopping the strings gently. You can do it hard and get like a percussive sound, or you can do it lightly and just stop the strings. It's up to you, but all we're doing is down, down, up, mute. Four, one, two, and three, four. So just try that a whole bunch because that's also the second part. We just do it two times in a row. Down, down, up, mute. Down, down, up, mute. Now that's the first two thirds of the strumming pattern. So try that a few times, just going. And then all we have to add is down, down, up, which is really similar to what we're already doing. We just don't do the mute at the end. So when you put that all together, we're kind of just going down, down, up three times, and we're muting in between. You know, let's take a close look at that. Three and four and down, down, up, mute, down, down, up, mute, down, down, up, and that's it. So remember it that way. It's just the same thing three times, going through it, just try it a few times trying to get it once. And once you can get it once, try to get it two times in a row. And then maybe four times in a row. You know, and just do it on a single chord. Don't worry about chord switching. We want to take out all those other variables. And once you can do that, you know, once you can play the strumming pattern a bunch of times on just one chord, then you can start integrating the, the chord progression and you'll be playing the song. You know, so we're pretty much almost there. Anyways, I'm gonna give you some time to work on that, and when you're ready, we can put that together with the chords from the verse, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. For the pre-chorus, we're gonna need two new chord shapes. There's F minor. And that's almost the same shape as our F chord. All we do, we'll actually start on our F chord. We lift these two fingers, and then I'm gonna put my first finger down, and it has to cover two strings. It has to cover the second and third strings, so you use the pad of your finger. If it's really tough, you can actually help push it down with your middle finger. That'll help reinforce it. And we're also gonna need the G chord. And aside from that, we already know the rest of the chord shapes, so let's take a quick look at the chord order. Starting out on A minor this time. One, two, three, four. So notice at the end there, I strummed F minor for two measures, and then I just hit it once, and I counted two, three, four. And that's called a stop, and that's where we just do what I just did. You know, you play it, and then you count. Normally we would count in our head, but I wanted to show you what it was like. And we're gonna have to do that once we add the strumming pattern. You know, at the very end we just and that'll get us into the chorus. So keep that in mind as you play it with me. And when you're ready, we can add the strumming pattern to it, play it nice and slow. One, two, three, four. For the chorus, there's no new chord shapes. We've already gone over all of them. The chord order is gonna be a little bit different, so we'll take a quick look at that, starting off on the C chord. 
One, two, three, four. So once again, at the end there, we had a stop. You know, we just strummed F minor, and we actually counted out two measures. You'll have to do that in your head when you're performing it, but it's good practice to say it out loud and make sure that you're getting the timing right. Anyways, we have the chord order. We've already done the strumming pattern. Let's try to put it all together nice and slow. One, two, three, four. So that's pretty much it. You know, we would just go over all of that one more time, verse, pre-chorus, chorus. One thing that's a bit tricky in this song is at the very end, there's a key change. And basically all the chords go up one fret. And that means that we'd have to play all bar chords to do it. So when you're performing this song, I personally, in order to keep it nice and easy, would just ignore the key change. If you're really adamant about it, you know, you'd either have to super quickly, I guess at the end, you know, how far out, or whatever, how far, then change your capo up one fret, do it all again. That would work, but it's kind of weird, and you'd have to be really quick at changing your capo. The other option is to go all bar chords, which once again is really tough, you know. Uh, that's just a bit much, you know. Like we're just taking the G shape, and then we're using our finger as the capo. That's just a bit too tough, so I'm not gonna show you guys how to play that. So just keep that in mind as you're playing the recording. When they hit the very end, the key goes up one fret, and it's all bar chords from there on out. So in your performance, just keep it all where it's at, and it'll, it'll stay nice and simple. Aside from that, there's not much else to it. So practice the strumming pattern. You know, Make sure that you count it out, and you go through it really slowly. Um, with the chord shapes, they're not too bad, aside from that F minor, and you can reinforce with that finger. I think that's pretty much everything, so I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you have any questions, need any help, check out our free ebooks, ask questions in the comments down below. Aside from that, I hope you have a good time practicing, and I'll see you soon.